Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be covering the new assault rifle inside of Modern Warfare. Let me tell you now, it is better than the Grout. It's an absolute machine. It's absolutely insane. You guys really need to try it out for yourself. But before we do get into today's video, make sure you guys are going down below and smashing that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know we can do it guys, just smash that subscribe button. Make sure you're dropping an early like as well. Also, hope you guys don't mind the darkness in the background. I have some LEDs that go around my table. Uh, Hopefully they provide enough light, I hope. Got some other like, cool lighting on the way, so make sure you do stay tuned for that. Kind of a new setting behind me, kind of a, a little bit less boring, if you will, or maybe just as boring because it's dark. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, as you can see on your screen, this is the class of I'm going to be using in this video. It's the Emissary or the Galil. It's the, technically the Galil. To me, it doesn't look anything like the Galil, but that's what everybody seems to be calling it. This is the T100 variant, uh, obviously when you hit tier 100 you unlock this variant but I don't know what tier you actually unlock the weapon on its own obviously I didn't have any attachments whilst doing this gameplay uh, I didn't change anything should I say this is how it comes standard in fact I think I changed one thing and I can't remember what it was um, but yeah apart from that guys this is the setup I'll be using it's an absolute beast it's actually better than the Grau in my opinion better than the M4A1 this is an absolute machine of an AR honestly it's insane but yeah, without further ado guys, we're going to hop straight into a game right now. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Make sure you're dropping a like, make sure you smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay guys, we are playing Domination on Kando Hideout. Hopefully we can have a decent game. This new AR is actually insane, believe it. Randy Orton watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! That was not a great way to start this game, getting knifed straight off the bat by someone sliding like a maniac. But yeah, I've been uh, playing a lot of Scrapyard since the start of Season 4. Oh my god, please don't kill me. You're dead, my friend. Uh, a lot of scrapyards in the start of season four on my days. And to be honest, I just don't even like that map, to be fair. I just hate playing that game mode, the scrapyard 24-7. I have not managed to have a decent game on them, that map since you know the start of season four. And I've played a lot of season four so far. Uh, not as much as I would have liked, to be honest. But we have played a lot. And I've not had a single decent game. The vector, in my opinion, is just awful. It's just... No way, I'm not, I don't even want to do another video on that gun. It's just the worst thing I've ever come across. And it made me think, maybe they should work on the weapon balancing because it just can't compete with anything. In my opinion, every single gun in this game, maybe apart from the Uzi, is worse, is better, sorry, than the Vector. And it's just so weak, man, for a gun that fire rate, that's, the fire rate is so fast, I thought it would be a, a machine. You know, and I'm super disappointed about it. I try after I did the Vector video, I tried and tried and tried to get a. Oh, I'm trying to play Strip Mines. I keep thinking I have C4s, but I don't. I'm trying to do the Officer Rank challenges. Um, but yeah, I tried to do it, get a decent gameplay after today's video. Well, it'll be yesterday's video by the time you see this. And um, I thought I'll try and do a best class setup video. Maybe I can make this work. A zero recoil class setup or something. And I managed to get. You know, it's a, a class setup with a vector that was zero recoil. It didn't have a single bit of recoil. If you want to see it, let me know and I'll do it anyway. But it's an, it was an insane class setup on paper. And I thought, wow, surely this is going to be, you know, help me use the vector and become a better vector player. Oh my days, come on. What? On. You all got to be kidding me. How on earth did that guy kill me? But like I was saying... I, I thought this is going to be it, you know, let's hopefully, you know, the Vector's let me down so far and now I've got some decent attachments with it, you know, we're going to be able to uh, perform, you know, and it just didn't happen, it didn't happen, but yeah, I just don't understand why I just couldn't get a good gameplay uh, on Scrapyard and just the Vector on its own, I just tried for so long to try and get some kind of gameplay and just nothing seemed to work for me and it was a nightmare really trying to get that gameplay for well, yesterday's video and like I said, I did try for a long time afterwards just to try and get something together and it, just nothing would happen and it brought me on to the uh, thought process of thinking like weapon balance and stuff and how, like I said, every other gun in this game seems to be better than that gun, uh, which is annoying that kid's going to get destroyed, well not really, but <clears throat> hey ho, we're hopefully going to get some streaks in as well, we're getting dominated right now. Uh, what I'm finding as well on my days is... Uh, I hate playing objective game modes in pubs, so I seriously do. Um, oh my days, thank god for EOD, I don't think that would have killed me anyway, but oh my god, this guy in front of me, I didn't even see him. 
Uh, thank God, that was a free bullet kill up close as well. This thing's a machine, remember that as well. Free bullets to kill him out of close, absolute machine. Uh, it's very, very good, this gun as well. At any range as well. We've got a VTOL. You're going to die, my friend. Hopefully, we can secure the advance. There's a guy below me. Oh my God, is he following me? Oh my God. Don't know where anybody is. Okay, let's chill for a minute. There's a guy in that roof. Let's try and get him. Oh, ammo. Oh my, how did my shots not even hit him? But yeah, I just hate playing objective game modes because nobody plays the objective. Like, at all. It's just the most annoying and frustrating thing ever. And I don't get why they don't. It's like, oh my god, get out of my face. It just makes no sense. Like, I was playing a hard point game before this on Shoot House. And the reason I didn't upload it was the simple fact I had a decent game, but we got destroyed objective wise. Um, I, like, nobody on my team played the hill. I think I had like a minute and a half in the hill, and the guy below me had 30 something seconds and from there it was like six four five four seconds like just literally not even ten seconds in the hill and I don't get why man you know it's hard point if you you know everybody's playing right now to get the most XP I presume it's double XP and everything so everybody wants to rank up you're gonna get more XP by winning these games and um, so why not even try to win the objective and I hate having precision air strike on as well because it just wastes a kill streak slot for me I just hate it but we're going to get these officers ranked. Oh my god, I didn't have this gap. Those teammates up there. Someone's put in the chat. Did you seriously buy all tiers? Was that aimed at me? I don't know if that's aimed at me. I've not actually seen anybody else with all tiers bought. But where the hell did I even get shot from? But yeah, I've got 25 kills. The guy below me's got 11 kills. So the teammates not doesn't seem to be doing too well right now. Where's this guy gone? Oh my god, I'm getting destroyed. I think that's a free death streak run. But yeah, that guy calling me out. Did I really buy all the tiers? If it is aimed at me? Yes, I did. Obviously, I don't have to uh, bring the content to you guys. Plus, it's just something I would have done anyway. I don't, I don't know what it is. I used to do it when I played Fortnite. Oh my god, there's just something about <laughs> buying the tears for me. I don't know what it is. I just hate. I'm just such an impatient person. Like this variant, for instance. Let's see if I can beam this kid. Oh my god, I don't even want to bother. He's gonna kill me. Um, something about having like the tier 100 things before everybody else, or like. I don't know, I'm just that type of person who likes to be, have like the newer things before anybody else. Not in person, like, you know, if like a new iPhone comes out, I'm not like that kind of person, you know. But like, when it comes to Call of Duty, just specifically, I just like to have them straight away. I just, such, such an impatient person, you know. I mean, I don't know how long it'd take to grind to tier 100. Oh, there's someone contested. Oh my god, that kid just got melted. But yeah, I like to have them and just sort of show them off in game if you will. Bit sad I know this guy to my left, I can see him on the mini map. Do goodbye my friend. Is the guy coming as well or is he below me? Could be below me as well. Where is he? Come on. Where are you? Oh I think he's in that oh he's there. Let's go get him. Oh my god. He's poked out. Where's he gone? Oh my god. How did my uh, mine not kill him there? He was weak. Oh my god, I don't know how he didn't kill him. He must be literally one shot but I don't even know where he is at right now. Don't even want to really bother looking for him. I'm just going to hold down this area. I still haven't managed to secure B just because this is coming from every angle and I don't have any other teammates up here. They're all over A, just sat, in, sat there. It's just so annoying. I see loads of people on Twitter complaining about this as well, having the same issue. But why are you not playing objective, man? It just makes no sense. That guy just got destroyed as well. He had the Fennec, the Vector. So that just shows you there how managed to... That range of the Fennec, man, he should have... He should have killed me 100%, you know, with an SMG especially. If I was an MP5, I would have been dead. Or, let's say, even a P90, a P90 any other uh, SMG, I would have been dead 100%. I know I would have. It's just such a weak gun. Um, I can't see them buffing it in the future. I would I hope so, anyway. We'll have to wait and see for that. But it is what it is, so we'll just have to wait. I hope so, because I do want to use it. It does seem... I think it would be a really, really good gun. Just the damage range on it is just stupidly low. I mean, I don't even know. Anything far and further away than short range is just struggling. We're getting a VTOL there. We're still losing, though, massively. Team doesn't seem to be doing much as well, which is a shame. They're going to secure A, so we're going to be triple capping for a minute. So hopefully this might be able to get us some... Oh, my God, I had that kill that kid. Hopefully this might be able to push it into the lead a bit. If we can secure B again. In fact, what the hell? We was triple capping literally a second ago and they managed to get B and A at the same time. That's just what I hate, man. I'm just going to try and secure B. Well, there's nobody hanging around. VTOL's covering me as well. Oh my god, thank god for EOD as well. Oh my god, get off the stairs, my friend. 
But yeah, I just don't know why they just don't play objective. It's so annoying, but this gun, man, is literally insane. I've seen a couple of people tweeting about it. Uh, I've not seen much about this gun. It seems to be more focused on the vector, and I don't know why, because the vector is it's shit, man. It's actually shit. And this really needs a little bit more attention, this, this AR, to be fair. Uh, people say it's the Galil. To me, it's not the Galil. It looks nothing like the Galil. I just don't know why this is rumoured to be the Galil. I have no idea. It's super annoying. It's also been leaked another roadmap for the uh, Season 4. We're apparently going to be getting the Barrett 50 cal uh, in, added into this game. So I'm actually really looking forward to using the Barrett 50 cal. I was going to tweet about it before it was released saying I wish the Barrett 50 cal was in this game. Uh, and I, I, I never did. I wish I did because me saying this now, no one's going to believe me. Like, yeah, yeah, you said whatever. Um, but I seriously did think about it. This game is almost over. Oh my days, I don't know where this guy is. I'm gonna, oh, I thought I had a C4 again, I keep forgetting I don't have a C4. I've got a bouncing bay. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself with the bouncing bay. And that's the end of that. 47 kills. The guy below me had 19 kills. Our team was awful that game. Just goes to show, man, we get to play the game as well, but look at the scoreboard. That is just so annoying. Like, why, man? Nobody played objective. I got 17 deaths. Just, wow. This, look at the scoreboard, annoys me. It seriously does. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. Make sure you do try this gun out for yourself when you finally do unlock it. Or you might already have it unlocked, but never really bothered with it. But yeah, make sure you do try it out for yourself. It's meant to be the Galil. It's not the Galil in my eyes, but hey, hope we'll call it that anyway for nostalgic purposes. It's an absolute machine. It's an absolute beast. It melts people way better than the Vector. Uh, and I'd like to say my opinion, but I'm going to say it's a fact. The Vector really does suck in this game, but it's what it is. Nothing we can do. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys are new around here, make sure you're smashing that subscribe button. I upload daily Call of Duty content, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video I do upload. But yeah, apart from that, guys, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.